just as a start for Wednesday's episode, I'm taking down the station. It's it's a bit like revenge, <laughs> but I, as long as I'm working here, I will be better safe than sorry. And I didn't take a look what is up with the planets. I don't know, maybe the stations on the planets turned upside down too. Um, so we'll have to take a look at that anyways at one point. I I can't pinpoint where the problem is or was. And um, yeah, I will be... I want to be a bit safer. And I think having a base that is mobile, a base that can go different places and is not locked into position kind of <laughs> might be a bit safer at the moment because that was the whole shebang here was really really weird but let me go back to doing more work you can see i parked the ships close to the station so both of these ships can take down the station i positioned um, I repaired a bit of the damage here and now I will go back to the to basically to the main video the thing I wanted to stay start with is testing out the range and we will do that next after this small intermission we are now back with the mission <laughs> I would say so we wanted to find out what range the mining nanites have or the nanites itself I think if it can mine over a few hundred meters it also can construct or deconstruct over a few hundred meters so I have built this rig here it's the normal mining rig with an, uh, a reactor uh, the repair beacon to build it itself the Duchessa is out there you can see it 123 meters away around we, we don't need to be too precise and I have built a beacon so that we can see how far we are away from the thing okay this thing is mining away on the uranium here I need that anyways so it's good to have that now and now let us go into the Duchessa we can see that it still mines. The orange ones are the nining, the nine, the nining nanites, mining nanites, and we will go in now and get a bit away. The Duchessa is still in a state of repair. I ha don't have enough materials to fix everything, so you can see that by the way the thruster down there is not repaired yet but i fixed most of the holes and i think there's still uh, a reactor that needs to be produced so let us see if we can go 300 meters away that was one thing that was said that it would be 300 meters that the nanites can operate 200 they are still flying and now we go to 250 they are still going i don't know if you can see that but you can i can still see small orange bits coming out of there and flying towards the mining hammer there now we are at 300 we are over 300 now and they are still flying maybe because uh, i think it calculates from where i am so let us go to 310 or something like that 320 now if 300 would be the number I think we would be out of range now and they are still flying so let us go to 400 bigger increments I would say 
And I don't want to make this test too long. I want to go back to the building site. So 400. They are still flying. That's neat. That's really, really neat. And where does it end? Let us go to... I would say over 500 just to see and then we can go closer if we lose contact. They are still flying. Crazy range, I would say. Crazy range. 550 or around 550. So... Six hundred. We are over six hundred now. And now it seems they stopped. Yeah, the nanites are done now. So I would say the range is around six hundred meters. That's a good range for, for that kind of stuff. So if we go a bit closer now. When does it start up again? Let us go a bit below 600 and see if the nanites start flying again. 600, around 600. Bit closer. We always stop so the nanites can really start up, but I don't see the... Hmm, maybe... It needs a bit of room to start up again. I, do, I don't know how the detecting range of the thing is. Maybe, hmm, maybe there is a thing with, okay, now we are in contact. Now you can go over the range, basically, but it needs a bit less to connect to the hammer there or something like that i don't know let us go and we will creep into the range i don't want to do this for hours and hours but it will be a good test to see there 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 there, there. do you see that now they started up again so the nanites seem to work over over the 500 but it seems that there needs to be contact established or something like that under 500 so we can say they will work over 500 meters but contact needs to be made under 500 meters so i would go with a range of around 500 meters or something like that that's a good and safe bet and this gives me an idea where I can park the ship if I want to um, mine. But I will go closer now, get some more uranium. That's what we need right now. And then we will go back to the building site. I have some uh, things to show you. Is something shooting at me or is it the nanites? The nanites are doing weird stuff there. I thought something is shooting at me. That wouldn't be good. I will go close and then, um, yeah, I need uranium. These nanites take uh, crazy amounts of uranium and I hope that the patch that I have there is enough to keep me going for a while. I'm back from my mining run and <laughs> let me talk about this for a sec. I just realized that the nanites have a real problem when it comes to mining. I think they take up uranium and a lot of it. I know that if reactors go into over overdrive over something something then they use up more uranium but the reactors of the of the duchessa don't so 
it's it's crazy because the uranium really goes goes down in in minutes i don't know where that comes from if that's a problem in the mod at the moment or if that is a thing that should be like that uh, even this one nanite control um, yeah brings down my reactors so or not brings down the reactors because it only uses up 150 megawatts the reactors produce 300 each and they don't go into this into this overburdened mode why it is taking up so much uranium maybe there's balance balancing stuff happening i don't know but we will have to find a solution for that because mining with the nanite control factory in that state hmm, maybe if you dedicate a mining a nanite control factory just for for mining so if you maybe put two or one mining upgrade on there and then power reduction uh, that could be a thing i will have to think about that because this thing has five of the nanite control factories and it yeah the four reactors might be empty in in minutes and they are you can see that that two of them already are empty i brought in my mining ship and gathered uranium the duchessa is already at work refining that and then we will have to find a solution for that what we could do is we could try to do both so we go in and use not only the mining capabilities or maybe we don't even use the mining capabilities of the nanite control factory what we also could do is add a hangar to the ship or a docking station for drones and then try to see if the autopilot mod can help us here because the autopilot mod can mine and if we could go in there and one of the ships has it already <laughs> i had a nice talk with i had a nice talk with armitage about the about the turtle and we will rebuild i say so this thing will be rebuilt and don't know maybe we can even make it better so let me take a look at the autopilot because i know that this thing can mine so what we could do is uh, there is task here harvest ore and if we maybe can say uh, go and uh, harvest player controlling uh -huh, harvest or from an asteroid or planet or ores are treated the same if you wish to prioritize use multiple commands or detectors must have a two-way connection to the autopilot block so two-way means it must be on the ship we will test that we will build a mining drone and then test that uh, when we come to that the ship gets bigger and bigger anyway so a few drones and a bit of space wouldn't be so bad i say you can see what i've done here i have repaired the damage and then continued building this will be the control in the front so here will be the bridge and don't know maybe living quarters for me or something like that which i would like to have down here and you see that i have a control here and i will have one in the front this i say this is the front of the ship so front this is only here to be able to control maybe an approach from above if we don't know uh, fly towards the ship and want to have it close to the nanites here i have upgraded some of the nanites already with power reduction speed and construction 
some mining. I will have to take a look at that. I've brought in some containers on the sides. I will have some in the center of the ship to protect them from maybe getting damaged. And we will have to decide for the backside. These thrusters I have on here just for the moment. Now that I want to add a hanger, we might want to change a bit with the backside. I I had the idea to have this thing here down here, integrate some machines down here just to have them out of the way and have, don't know, space up here. But with the hanger, we might want to go a bit bigger on the backside, maybe bring it a bit more up, a bit more down to, to have space in there. This will be basically then a movable base. So we can use this, for example, to fly to the Mars planet or the, the alien planet and set up base there. Hopefully we get the gates back at one point. Maybe even fit this one with the gate. I have integrated the teleporter mod so we could maybe work with that too. But the teleporters have a um, range of, I think, maximum 60 kilometers or so. This doesn't help. Uh, ha yeah, doesn't. This does not help us to go from the planet to the moon, for example. This the the range already is too big there. Hmm. We will have to see. This ship will be the big project for definitely the next weeks. I will do some more work until Friday. So maybe decide for a new form and make it, yeah, make it bigger, maybe wider at some point. Maybe we could go from here and make it wider a bit, have it widen up and then, hmm, finally decide for a form factor for this ship. I, at the moment, I like the front. I will close this up and I will have to see what I can integrate here. Also, maybe fill it up, close the bottom. I'm not sure. We will see. Uh, okay, people, I think that's all for today. We made the range test. Uh, remember, around 500 meters is good. And... Yeah, that's all for today. If you liked the episode, then please leave a like on it. I recently um, did a bit of a subscriber milestone and I want to keep that going. So if you want to help me out with that, then yeah, please leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment. That's also very much appreciated. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next episodes, hopefully with more work done on this ship.